Welcome to another History Skills video. Today we're looking at how to evaluate the usefulness of historical sources. As an evaluation skill, usefulness is one way that you can prove that a source is valuable and is often the easiest of the evaluation skills to use. So what is usefulness? Usefulness is a judgment about how helpful or relevant a particular source is regarding the historical topic you are studying. Your decision about whether an individual source is or is not useful is based upon what you discovered about it during your analysis of the source. So how do you prove usefulness? In order to successfully evaluate the usefulness of your source, you must know two things. Firstly, you must know what particular topic you are studying in order to form a conclusion about whether the source is useful to that topic. Secondly, you must read the source closely in order to discover whether it is saying something of worth about your topic. Once you know these two things, you can easily justify the usefulness of the source on any of the following criteria. 1. The source provides explicit or implicit information about your historical topic. This is easy to demonstrate by providing either direct or indirect quotes. 2. The source was made at the time of the historical event and is therefore a primary source. 3. The creator of the source is someone who has a valuable perspective about the topic. This is often the case for secondary sources written by academic experts on the topic. By the way, don't make the mistake of simply saying that a source is or is not relevant. Instead, talk in degrees of usefulness. For example, you could argue that a particular source is not very, somewhat or extremely useful to your historical topic. Please remember that your decision about how relevant a source is will be based upon the findings you discovered in your analysis of it. So the more a source talks about your topic, is written by someone who lived at the time, or is created by an expert, will give you better grounds for arguing for its usefulness. Now that you know how to evaluate a source for usefulness, let's look at some examples to solidify your learning. Let's say that the topic we are studying for an assessment piece is the Second World War, specifically the experience of American soldiers in the conflict. If we discovered a diary written by an American soldier who recorded his daily experiences during World War II, we could potentially use it as a source. But how useful is it? In order to write our evaluation, we know at least two crucial details that will help us. Firstly, the diary contains a lot of detailed information about a specific soldier's experiences. Secondly, it was written by an author who was present at the time of the events they describe. Therefore, for these reasons, we can easily conclude that this diary is extremely useful to our study of the experiences of American soldiers during World War II. For our second example, let's say that the topic we are studying is the Aztec Empire, specifically the role of women in Aztec society. When we did a simple Google search, we uncovered a particular website which appears to have been written by a high school student as part of a class presentation. The website does talk about the Aztecs, but it only focuses on male Aztec soldiers and how they fought against Spanish invaders. So how useful is this website to us? In order to help us justify our decision, we know a number of things. Firstly, the source does not contain information about women in Aztec society, which is the historical topic we're focusing upon. Secondly, the creator of the source was neither present at the events they describe, nor are they an expert in the field. They are just a high school student. Therefore, we can confidently argue that the source is not very relevant to our topic of study. Now that you have a better understanding of the usefulness of sources, I hope that you feel more confident in your studies. If you need further explanations, examples and advice, head over to the historyskills.com website and I'll see you next time.